Your Weather Authority forecast. Sponsored by Greenway of the Shoals. A new way, the right way. Greenwayoftheshoals.com. Parts of a large asteroid will crash into the Utah desert this weekend, but don't worry, it's all a part of NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission. This video is an animation released by NASA to show us a general idea of what we'll get to see. Coming up later in our newscast, we'll have more on what researchers at the Marshall Space Flight Center hope to learn. That's real interesting. We'll have to watch for this and stay tuned to News 19 to find out more coming up in the next half hour. But let's take you back down to Earth this morning and show you what's taking place here across the Tennessee Valley. This is a live view from Colbert Heights. A beautiful sunrise in store for this Saturday. It is going to be really nice all weekend long. So get ready for some nice weather as we work our way through the weekend. Here's a look at Minor Hill. This is just an amazing camera to view these sunrises from and this is definitely not a disappointment this morning in Minor Hill. I-565 and Greenbrier Road looking pretty decent as well. Temperatures starting off in the 50s. 54 in Athens, Decatur, 59 in Florence, 57 in Coleman, 56 in Huntsville, 57 in Albertville and 53 in Fort Payne to start your morning off on a little bit of a chilly note. But things do get warmer as we head into the afternoon. No rain on the radar now. No rain expected as we go through the rest of the day. If you're planning on spending some time on your patio today, look at this. Plenty of sunshine to come our way. We climb into the middle 80s by 1 o'clock this afternoon. We'll stay in those mid 80s as we head into the evening for a pretty warm first day of fall. If you're looking to check out Rocket City Fair this Saturday, gates open around 1 o'clock. Temperatures right around 85 degrees. We'll climb through the afternoon afternoon into those upper 80s. It is going to be a rather warm first day of fall for us here in the Tennessee Valley as we head through the afternoon and into the evening with plenty of sunshine to come our way. Maybe you're going to check out one of the Huntsville Ghost Walk tours downtown this evening. Not a bad evening for it. It is going to be warm by the time the tour takes off around 82 degrees. Still warm by 7 o'clock with temperatures in the upper 70s, but clear dry conditions expected throughout the evening. The Huntsville soccer match coming up on Sunday looks pretty good too. Plenty of sunshine by kickoff. Temperatures in the lower 80s will stay in those low 80s by halftime. And then by that drive home, things are going to start warming on up with a little more cloud cover starting to work in. There is a fire alert posted for all of North Alabama until further notice. This just says we've had some really dry conditions recently, and this is going to say no outdoor burning of any type without a permit before starting that fire here in North Alabama. And just because we've been so dry, dry conditions showing up on our drought monitor across southern middle Tennessee and portions of North Alabama. So we are in need of some rainfall here and we are behind by a little more than an inch. We should be right around two and a half inches. We are actually at 1.19 inches for rainfall month to date in September. There are some rain chances coming our way as we head into the upcoming work week, but it is going to be a very slim chance of an isolated shower Monday through Thursday. Say a mountain over the next seven days looking pretty dry through the weekend. Plenty of sunshine temperatures in the low 80s for daytime highs. Morning lows starting off in the 50s and low 60s. Daytime highs will be in the 80s and 70s for the upcoming work week with that slight chance of an isolated shower. The shoals not looking too bad either through the weekend. Watching for those isolated shower chances as as we head into the upcoming work week. The Huntsville metro area looking pretty good through the weekend, watching for an isolated shower in the week ahead.